Uh, and then Stephen followed that up with, sometimes death requires an enema. <laughs> uh, well, actually, no, because, you know. I, you're like uh, a nephrophiliac. Having, I, have, I, I have concerns. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, because, you know. <laughs> well, let's put it this way. Somebody who has experience of having seen all the lovely things that dead bodies like to do sometimes. It does not require an enema. They no. don't. They they don't need one, man. Nope. They they really really don't. They don't. But anyway, and my first thought is unless they're a necrophiliac. Gross. What the, the, what the dead body? <laughs> Ew. Oh my god! And like as the dead body expels its last breath of air, it shudders. <laughs> Be like, well, no, because, see, the reason why, Katie, it wouldn't need an enema if you would like me to go into grotesque detail. Oh, because it just naturally comes that, out. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can no longer hold your fluids in. That's right. There, there's a reason for that line in Game of Thrones where the where King Baratheon is like, no one talks about how they shit themselves. <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> None of the songs mention the fucking smell. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, but like this is why people put penny royal on kerchiefs when they would walk through the streets after battles because yeah, yeah, yeah. that smell like blood and shit. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I described the smell of blood and shit a little bit in my second book. Was it after or before sex? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> 